Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Godzilla Mo, Godzilla Mo, Godzilla. Too cold, too quick, we lit. Best channel, we sick. Took time for us to shine and drop down. Still time at the time, giving you mine. Plays for days, this is a craze. We love it, hot as the oven, still buzzing. Crazy, crossed over, still hooping, still juking. Crazy step back, bang that track. Gotta pause, just talk to you later, we'll be right back. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mo, and today I have another great video for you guys, alright? Now, in today's video, I will be showing you guys another great play in the offense out of the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook, alright? Now, in this offense, it is the, um... Uh, Green Bay Packers offensive play, but like I said, but the formation is out of the doubles halfback week right here, and the play will be called. Where is it at? Let me find it right here. Hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. Where is it at? right here? Slot post. All right. Now look, before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. All right. Now, what you guys want to do is go to substitutions first. All right, and then right here in the slot number 18, you want to put your best route runner receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and put um. I don't think Christian Watson the best route runner, but I'm going to go ahead and put him right there because he is very fast. I'm gonna put a very fast receiver right here. Let's go ahead and no, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put him right here, right here, right here. And I'm gonna put uh, another good receiver right here. Boom, like Adam Lazard. And make sure you always have your best tight end in the game. All right, so let's go ahead and come on this play. Slot post. All right, now let's first let's run this play against the cover zero, which is the man, which is like the you know the the meta right now, meta defense. So let's go ahead and come out in a nickel right here, nickel uh, super suit pinch right there. Boom. Now what you guys wanna do first, right? is put b on a slant and then motion them over to the left and you either can block your tight end or leave him on the route that uh, put him on a route but what i'm going to do is put him on a route like this and then block my halfback and then pick up the blitz so whoever's blitzing i'm gonna block um id him and it's gonna help me pick up the blitz all right now motion him over a little bit and then slant i mean uh snap it now watch the post right here so now you got a middle you got a high low read that's exactly what you guys want against man coverage and zone coverage. So look, let's go to the replay right quick. Let's go to instant replay. Now, as you guys can see right here, I'm going to snap the ball. Watch it. Boom. I'm going to go ahead right here. Now, watch it. Now, watch the middle. Watch the middle right here. You see the middle. Now, the only reason that guy was, like, following me is because that's the guy that's uh, supposed to be defending the halfback. But since halfback was blocking, he's not going to be on no uh, defensive coverage no more. And uh, he's just going to be like a QB spy on me, all right? But as you guys can see, I see the blitz is coming in right there. And I can see that as soon as he cut right there, that's that the, uh, the post right there, I'm going to be able to throw that. And that's going to be wide open. But as you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys one more thing. Let's go ahead and set that blitz back up. Uh, pick up this guy. Put him back on the slant. Put A on the streak. And then motion him over and then slant. Now watch A. A is actually going to get open. I'm going to high ball it. Okay, no, actually I should have waited. But if you guys wait a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit longer, he's going to get wide up. Let's do that one more time. Hold on. Slant right there. Motion him over right here. Boom. Now we're good. Stay in the pocket. Stay in the pocket. Free form high ball. That's actually wide open. As you guys can see. Robert Tanyan, not the fastest uh, tight end in the game, but that is wide open as you guys can see. As you guys just seen right there, that was wide open. As you guys can see right here, again, I picked up the blitz. And don't you I do ID that guy that is blitzing. You shouldn't have to worry about nothing. And as you guys see, he did have inside um, leverage. So I just free from inside high ball. That's wide open, all right? And then another thing is you can always throw that slant. If the slant is open, go ahead and throw it. Um, it's because it's going to be over since uh, beat man coverage pretty pretty uh, good and pretty consistently almost every time so you are, guys can always depend on the slant and then you have that out route on the left side now if he is running um, outside DB I mean outside shade then it's going to be kind of hard to throw that but if he's not just just go ahead and wait when he break and then throw it and it's going to be over for you guys all right but make sure you do for, uh, not free from, but lead pass it to the outside because if you don't, it can get uh, what is it called? It can get intercepted pretty, pretty easily. So, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna basically, I know when he's gonna break, and right when he's take them a the few little steps, I'm gonna throw it before he do break so it won't get intercepted. All right, now let me go ahead and show you guys this play one more time against zone coverage because it be zone coverage pretty, pretty consistently, and it's a good play against zone and man coverage. All right, and this time we're going to come out against a cover four, right? Cover four quarters. Boom, right here. So what you guys, all you guys want to do is run a little high, low read again. So go ahead and put B on a slant. But this time I'm going to put A on the outer like this. And then leave uh, RB on the route that he's on. Motion him over like this. Boom, I got A open. I got RB open. I got Y open. I'm not going to throw anything. 
But as you guys see, I have a lot of things that was open, and there's so many routes that it forces my opponent to cover. So go to instant replay. Now right here, I'm going to snap the ball, and you see my halfback. First person I want to look at is my halfback. He's wide open right there. That's an easy first down, or maybe five to ten yards. All right. So even if, even that's only uh, five yards. Look at my tight end right here. He's wide open, bro. Number 85 right here. He is wide open. That's an easy first down for me. I'll uh, throw it to the outside and it won't get intercepted. And then you got the slant from my boy Lazard right here through the middle. That's wide open. And if the guy's using this right here, just throw it over the top right here. And it's going to get open right here. But you have to free form it down so you won't get intercepted. So let me go ahead and show you, show you this right quick. Boom. Motion them over. That's how it will look. Boom. Now watch wide. So as long as you free form it down, he's going to get that every time. Every every time. And that's the first down for you. All right. So I hope this play works. Um works for you guys um and uh yeah me let me know what you guys want to see next far as offense and defense because there's a that's a lot of great plays in madden that a lot of people don't run but they do work right now in madden 23 that's a bad free from by me but uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video like comment and subscribe peace